name is Sven Krause. I'm a junior electrical engineer at Milwaukee School of Engineering. And super mileage vehicle consists of basically three wheels which are always in contact with the ground. Um, we have in front 26 inch uh, carbon fiber rims. They're extremely lightweight and rigid which uh, provides basically a platform for the vehicle to be built on. Uh, the rear wheel is like a freewheeling uh, hub, which is similar to like a BMX bicycle or uh, children's bicycle, and it basically allows the vehicle to roll when the motor isn't on. Uh, the driver controls the steering from following by turning this point. Uh, he's got standard controls of basically an ignition switch and a run kill switch. Uh, he controls the throttle through uh, carbon fiber bicycle lever, level, levers, and uh, so this throttle actually provides a throttle for the motor, and uh, the brake is controlled through a foot pedal, which was designed and machined here on campus. Um, steering basically sits in like a cradle for the uh, entire chassis. The chassis is a lightweight uh, carbon fiber polypropylene honeycomb. It was something that was designed, tested, and analyzed here at MSOE and ultimately provides a platform on which our entire car is built. Um, kind of sits as a flat board per se and is something that weighs a total of about eight to nine pounds and uh, can hold two, three people standing on it if it's spread out between two points. So it's extremely str uh, strong and durable and lightweight all at the same time. The seat is also made out of a lightweight composite carbon fiber. Um, it can house a onboard water storage for the driver as the vehicle being black and gets extremely hot. Uh, we have seat belts which hold the driver into place uh, in the event of a crash or emergency and uh, mirrors which allow the driver when the body is on or anything to see uh, what's going on behind him. Uh, moving to the other side of the vehicle, we have a fire extinguisher on board, which in the event of a, an emergency or a fire, he's able to actually remote actuate the fire extinguisher and uh, provide a method of <laughs> extinguishing the flames in that sense. Uh, moving on to the back, we have a three and a half horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, this is a motor that you can find on a variety of snow blowers and uh, generators and things of that sort. And it was provided to us by the sanctioning body, which is the Society of Automotive Engineers. Um, it is controlled uh, electronically. We are able to uh, fuel inject our motor versus carburation, which is sort of the traditional way of handling a motor or the intake gasoline into the motor. So using a computer, uh, we are able to modify how much fuel our motor uses to produce power and whether we need to use more power to propel the vehicle or less power to get by with the same amount of power. And so we are able to control all this via laptop and um, modify how we actually um, inject fuel into the motor and how the motor burns the fuel itself. Uh, we have an exhaust system which leads the uh, exhaust gases out the rear of the vehicle. And the sort of wrapping you see around it is also safety precautionary, which uh, keeps the motor actual exhaust temperatures warmer, yet makes it safe to touch when the actual motor is running. Uh, motors like this run typically cool for our standards or for our purposes, so the wrap you see is also wrapped on the actual motor to contain the heat within the inside the motor and make sure that uh, the motor doesn't run too cool as for our conditions and our purposes. We actually want the motor to run fairly hot or as hot as possible. And for the most part, that is the general layout of our system.